Loot filters are an important part of Last Epoch. At first, fairly few items drop, and the modifiers are easy to see since items drop identified. But as you progress into the endgame, more loot will drop, and a lot of the loot that drops is less and less relevant. After all, if you already have Exalted gear in every single slot, you're not going to need that grey item on the ground. There's no possible way to craft it into something that's better than what you're already wearing, no matter how lucky you get. As you go into the endgame, customizing your own loot filter becomes more and more important. A lot of the time, people ask me, do you have a loot filter for this build? And the answer is usually yes, but also no. Which is to say, I use a loot filter that's tuned to my specific gear. If you're just starting out with a build, it won't be very helpful to you. If you've been maxed it further than I have, it's probably going to show a lot of junk that you really don't need. Personally, I always tend to opt towards showing more, rather than showing less. I'd rather see some trash on the floor, than miss a potentially good upgrade. But in today's video, I'm going to quickly go over how to set up a basic loot filter, and then get into a few more advanced tips that you might find helpful when you start to min-max. Let's get into the basics. Start off, hit Shift plus F to bring up the loot filter menu. And right off the bat, you have two options. Import a loot filter, this is where you can grab one made by someone else, or create a loot filter. It's very important to learn how the loot filter system works and get familiar with making your own. To start off with, create a new filter. Let's call it leveling. And I'm going to pretend that I was leveling an acolyte and needed a filter for it. You start off with zero rules. The rules consist of show, hide, or recolor which should all be fairly self-explanatory. I'm going to start off by hiding everything not for my class. So class requirement, I'm an acolyte, I don't need to see any of this. Next up, I'm going to add a second condition. The condition options are affix, the specific modifiers on the item, level, should be self-explanatory, rarity, item type, and none. There's also, of course, class requirement, which I already went over. So rarity, I'm going to hide all normal, magic, rare items meaning I will see Exalted, Unique, and Set Pieces. This way, the junk that's not useful for my build is going to all be completely hidden. Next up, I'm adding a second rule to hide Acolyte-specific gear, and just general stuff that I don't want to see. For this one, I don't need an item type, just Normal, Magic, Rare. All of this gear is gone because it's not going to be useful for me at this time. Now. If you're low level, you will not want to hide rare gear. You'd only want to hide, say, normal gear. Then maybe you get to level 40 or so, your gear is much better, you add in magic. All right, you get to level 65, 75, you're in monoliths, you're grinding, you feel like you have good rares in most slots. You can hide all of that trash on the floor and get rid of it entirely. Don't worry, not all rares are going to be hidden. We'll add a rule in to show some later. In fact, let's do that right now. For this, I'm going to do instead of show, recolor, and pick whatever color you like. I'm going to pick a really nice blue here. This is going to be good items. So, affixes. What are my good items right now? I need intelligence. This will depend entirely on your build, my skills scale off of int. I want spell stuff, but I don't need crit because I'm a dot build. Damage type, necrotic. Health, yes. Block, no. Resistance and armor, yep. And let's also go with cooldown because it's very beneficial to a lot of my skills. Oh, and movement speed on boots, quite nice to have. So yeah, I'll include it. Finally, I want to go through things that are useful from this entire list for my build. Usually, a lot of these won't apply. I'm using Skeletal Mages. That's a pretty good one. I deal Necrotic Damage. I don't deal Poison, so that's not useful. Then I go down here and just grab all of the skills that I'm actually using. Hungering Souls. Reaper Form. Spirit Plague, uh, Death Seal, and Summon Skeletal Mages. Maybe you want to round it out. You could always grab, say, Crit Strike Avoidance. 
or endurance. Other defensive modifiers which are helpful. Damage over time. Then you hit confirm and you hit right here, advanced options. I want to show everything with at least two of the affixes that are tier three or more. And now I'll have a bunch of potential upgrades that I can either craft on or even if I'm lucky, whereas is. Another rule you might want is just to show things to rip up for crafting shards. I'm going to color this red just to pick a random color out of a hat. And again, go back to affixes. A lot of the common shards you won't need. However, things like hybrid health and increased health are fairly rare. Maybe under damage types, you want necrotic penetration, something that I should have selected in the earlier highlight, by the way. So select that now. And for acolyte specific stuff, maybe I'm not too worried about having shards for the necrotic damage, but I really want all the level shards. So death seal, spirit plague, reaper form, hungering souls, and skeletal mages. Any items with any of these affixes will now show up really brightly. I want to put this below this rule so that these items I know are safe to destroy, and this is something I'm picking up anyway because I might wear it. Just as a quick example of what this might look like, I have some of these mods right here on this helmet. If I drop it, it shows up as blue. And when it comes to a basic loot filter, this is honestly all you really need to do for a good bit of your leveling experience. It hides junk that you absolutely don't need to see. It highlights stuff that you do want. And you can always adjust it with the specific affixes you need. Now, before I get into some advanced tips and tricks for loot filtering, but if you're enjoying the video and want to see more Last Epoch guides, you should definitely get subscribed so you don't miss future uploads. Maybe while you're done there, leave a like, and be sure to recommend this to a friend the next time they ask how to make a loot filter. A big thanks to my patrons and channel members for their continued support, but more about that at the end. For now, let's get into those advanced filter options. Now, when you get into endgame, you might need something a little bit better. At this point, you probably have all of your basic gear established. Your res capped are very close to it. You have skill levels where you need them. Most of your stats are in the right place, but you generally need better items. This is where you want to get hyper-specific and search by slot. So just to use a good example of this, my chest piece is currently not very good. It has intelligence, which is great. It has void res, which I don't really need. Health is good. And the increased poison damage and poison res is completely useless. So I could either try to recraft the chest I have or attempt to find a new one. To do this, I'm going to do recolor, make it say green, add condition, item type. I only want armor, body armor here. Subtypes. Acolyte body armor. This shows all of them. Maybe I don't want all of them. I only want the decent ones. So I don't need cold res. I don't really need armor. Well, I do need armor, but this doesn't have any other interesting implicits, so I'd rather not. These are just bad. This is a low tier base, and this doesn't give me anything useful. So I'm going to have profane regalia, revenant plate, and immortal regalia. Confirm. Then I put in whatever affixes I want, specifically for me, specifically for this build, specifically for this item, such as intelligence. I definitely want intelligence. Then I also want health. Either one's fine, so I'm just going to be lazy and click all three. Hybrid health doesn't roll on a chest. It's fine. Doesn't hurt it to have extra modifiers in there. I don't really care about any resistances. Instead, I want to go down to the Acolyte specific stuff and just select a couple things here. Now, you can check to see exactly which skills are tied to which slots, so that you don't have to add extra stuff. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to that, because if the item doesn't roll a modifier, it's not going to yell at you or cause any issues. Hopefully someday there'll be context-based clues for the filtering system, and you won't have to do this, because it'll automatically just show things that can roll on your item. Those are all the skill levels. And then I want shared necrotic damage, and I want necrotic damage while transformed. Hit confirm. Add advanced option. 
I'm going to say it has to have at least two of these affixes and the individual tiers have to be three or more. No, that's three. And I add that as a rule. I always want this to be higher than generic recoloring. And now if I want to make it pop, I just hit emphasize. That makes the label a little bit bigger. There we go. I now have a rule specific to finding a chess piece upgrade on this build. In addition, if I wanted to have a very similar rule for my helmet, I could just duplicate the rule. If I no longer needed it temporarily, I could turn it off. If I knew, I would never use it again. Maybe I'm playing a build where the chess piece gets replaced by a unique item. I can just delete the rule entirely. Well, a generic loot filter, either one made by someone else, or a leveling filter similar to the generic one I demonstrated earlier, is a great place to start. As you continue to min-max, and as your build gets better, I strongly advise that you make slot-specific rules to recolor things for upgrades that you know are guaranteed to be good for your build. If there's anything else you want to look out for, such as a really good modifier, you could also highlight that separately, or put it as part of a filter. So for example, on my helmet, I really, really, really wanted a helmet that was not only exalted, but had a specific modifier on it. So I can go into Affix right here, and I can go into Acolyte right here, go down to Hungering Souls, with at least one advanced options, must be more or equal, six. This means any Hungering Souls helmet that I drop, which is exalted, is now going to be filtered by this rule. For example, this helmet looks very bright and shiny and would be impossible to miss while clearing. So that's the basics of how you set up a loot filter in Last Epoch, plus how to customize it as your needs change and evolve. Remember, a loot filter is always a work in progress. While you can get generic ones from other people, they're only going to take you so far, especially as you continue to min-max. And you can get into some really advanced stuff here. Rather than just highlighting a modifier to rip shards off, you could highlight a modifier for legendary fodder. After all, if you have a 2 or 3 LP item, there's pretty good odds of a one good thing getting put onto your new item, even if the rest is total junk. You can look for things that are prime candidates for Glyph of Despair, that have high tier and low tier modifiers mixed together. And because the loot filter is so easy to edit, it's very easy to customize on the fly. While this video was aimed primarily at beginners, I hope I've managed to touch on a few more advanced things which you found helpful even if you've set up your own loot filter in the past. And if you are a master of Last Epoch filters, be sure to put some tips and tricks for other players down in the comments below. Before I go, I'd like to take a minute to thank the patrons and channel members for their continued support. For as low as $1 a month, you can help make videos just like this one possible. If you're looking for some more tips and tricks, I recently released a video on that. And I also made a guide on how to progress your monolith. Both of those will be up in the card and down in the description below. Or of course, you can always go for whatever YouTube has on screen right now. But that's all for me today. Thanks for making it to the end. I hope you learned something, and I hope to see you again sometime soon.